Should fat people be allowed to travel? According to this guy. On the right side, I'm going with my camera guy, which means my chances of getting seated by a fat bitch are decreased by 50%, which is super dope, you know? Because the absolute worst thing that could happen on an airplane is getting seated between some fat like, Honestly, they should have weight limits for planes because I shouldn't be forced to sit beside a fucking beluga whale for four to six hours every time I have to fly across the country. It's just not. Mm -mm. And of course, instead of ignoring it, she responds to it, so let's see what she has to say. Mm -mm. You know what's not right? The fact that I reported this video for bullying and harassment and there was no violation found whatsoever. I went to report this video under hate speech and hateful behavior. And right here it shows some um, things that they don't allow you to demean people based on. And I just think it's funny that they don't do anything to protect fat people on this app like honestly i'm i'm running a very thin line right now with um getting this taken down for being a bully like in that video he literally called for uh the banning of fat people traveling on airlines how is that not discrimination how why wasn't there a violation she can't even perceive the other side's argument at all you're so busy trying to get him violated and get his video taken down. You're not even looking at the bigger picture. People pay money to get on a flight to get to their destination. Do they want to be all, <laughs> all next to somebody? No. What he said was harsh, but it was true. Who wants to be smushed in between people for four to six hours? I just came from Florida back in the summer. I'll throw some clips up. The blanket of gases not only contains the air we breathe. And thankfully, I, when I was seated next to the window on the way back to Minnesota, it was cool. Trying to sleep like this for three hours from Orlando to Minneapolis isn't fun. Do you know how mad I would have been coming to the airport and leaving at one in the morning if I was squished up like this for three hours? Yeah. You don't even want to know. It's the little stuff like that. It don't allow you to demean people based on. And I just think it's funny that they don't do anything to protect fat people on this app. Freedom of speech though, right? You can come on here and talk about obesity knowing that it's killing children and killing millions of Americans every few years and causing diseases that are ending lives and bankrupting families. You can talk about obesity and talk about being a plus size model and fat acceptance and being a fat liberationist and all this other stuff, freedom of speech. But the moment this guy voices his problem with being smushed on a flight that he paid his ticket for, he has every right to be comfortable. He paid for his ticket, but you being obese, is infringing upon his comfortability. He paid money. Now, if it's that big of a problem for him, he can fly coach, but I don't buy a ticket expecting to get smushed between two people. I don't pay $300, or $500 to expect to get smushed between somebody, one person. It is not safe to have really big people on board. Oh, you're fat phobic. No, it's logical. How can a 400 pound person that is this wide try to get through an aisle quickly and safely? What if there is an emergency on the plane? Is that gonna be the last person to get off if they're in the middle of the aisle? No, they're gonna try to get up and then moving is gonna slow the line down, which is gonna slow down the evacuation, which is gonna put more lives at risk. Think about it, can you run really fast at 400 pounds? They're not running, because if they were running, they wouldn't be at that weight. Them being on a plane is a safety hazard, point blank, period. And I've said this before, obesity, to me, shows your lack of discipline with food. What I ate today is a fat. For breakfast, I had a double cheeseburger. Here's how many calories that they say it has, but I don't freaking believe them. I had maybe a gallon of ketchup. I'm not even, okay, hey, I'm lying. Um, I had some fries, a Diet Pepsi. Um, I'm watching my figure so I didn't eat it all. As you know, I've lost 12 pounds in over 70 days. Here's what I did not eat. For dessert, I had a Fanta. Soon this will be what I eat in a day as a skinny. Shelter, love and belonging, food, these are all basic needs 
on the Maslow hierarchy of needs that we need to survive and thrive as humans. When you abuse food, it shows. It is one of the things that when you abuse it, it will show itself. Food will show. Your lack of discipline to your own body is egregious. People with autoimmune diseases, people born with disabilities, the Down syndrome, people with all types of physical ailments could wish they could be in a body that was fully functioning. And you take your fully functioning body and you binge it to this massive weight, and even if you lose the weight, you have so much loose skin that it can affect your daily life, which can make that medically necessary for removal. If you wouldn't have got to that big weight, you would have never needed the surgery for the loose skin. So even if you put in all the work, you are still going to need to have surgery to remove that loose skin. I promise you that, but you're not gonna put in the work to lose the weight, so we're not even gonna talk about it. And I agree with his, like how it was supposed to be perceived. I just don't like how harsh and how demeaning it was. We're all humans at the end of the day. Calling them beluga whales is crazy. It's very harsh. I understand what point he's coming from. As someone who suffered from childhood obesity, you don't get big eating nothing. They make it seem like they sneeze and their face falls into a buffet and they gain 300 pounds. No, you gotta do this repeatedly. Like when you wanna build muscle, you just don't lift weights one time. You gotta do it over and over and over and over and feed it and then rest it and then do it over and over and over. That's just to build muscle. You wanna lose weight. It takes effort. You are not going to sit on the couch and lose meaningful amounts of weight unless you're fasting. You can't just eat and be sedentary and expect fast results. It's not going to happen. I can see people not having enjoyment in working out, but sometimes you gotta do the things you don't like doing. I like working out like my boy Finn. His form of working out is a form of physical expression. If he doesn't get it, it messes with his entire day. For me, it's almost the same where when I work out, I feel good. When I go weeks without working out, my energy goes down. I don't see the colors anymore. I'm like, what's the point? You know, working out is very important to me. So I love it. But if you don't like working out, that's fine. But if you're obese or you say, I know I'd be healthier at this weight, I know my standard of living would be better if I made these choices and you don't make these choices, you're actively sabotaging yourself. That's like somebody saying, you're fat, I won't date you because you're fat. And then you go and cry yourself into a McDonald's parking lot. Like, you're sabotaging yourself. Even if you don't want to get in shape just to get that person or in spite of that person, you should get in shape because that's what's best for you. You think being fat was good for me when I was facing diabetes at 15? You think that was good? No. You know what I'm saying? My girlfriend, real Delulu. But y'all can't be Delulu because that's just sick. We need people in society to fuck shit. You parents don't want to parent and throw food at your kid. Timmy, wah! Little Timmy crying. Wah, 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 wah. He throw a fruit snack at us. And then he starts equating his whining and his wants with crying. So what are you going to do when he cries again? You're going to throw another fruit snack. And guess what? You didn't did that for six, seven years. Now Timmy, he, Timmy pre-diabetic. Pre Timmy, 300 pounds. Timmy getting bullied at school. Timmy can only score a three on a pacer. Timmy can't even run the mile. Timmy can't even fit in his shoes. How do y'all feel about obese people sitting next to you in airplanes and smushing you? Is that fair? Should they pay for two seats and be seated somewhere else? What is your opinion? How do you feel about fat activists and fat liberationists being able to preach free speech? If you enjoyed this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and drop a comment and let me know what you'd want to see. Thanks. See ya.